Things in order, you know, they just put them in category. There's no saying this one goes before this one. It doesn't work like that. All right, we're gonna start with this little one. Now we have not um, gone over this. Okay, um, pass me a marker, a red marker, sir, please. Right there, right, right there. Just get him on film doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one here is known as, just you'll have it, you can write it later. It's called a, this is an S. It's called a sand rake. So the name is S-E-N-N. -N. Give me a sand rake. And it's a retractor. All rakes are retractors. Remember that, okay? I'm ready because I didn't, I didn't give it to you before. So sand rake. Sand. Doctor was like, give me a sand, okay? All right. Here's your Charlie. Okay. I'll show you how they're used in a minute. Okay. The, once the incision is open, then they'll put this like this, and they'll spread the tissue open, and you can see the head bone in there. So it's a self-retaining retractor. Okay, here is the Israel rake. It's a big retractor for big hip surgery. Okay, here is a Hibs retractor. So all these are the same thing. They retract tissue back. Here's a Myerding retractor. There are some thinner ones, some narrower ones. Okay, you usually probably use two to retract tissue back to get into the bone. Myerding. It has a bunch of little fused teeth right here. Okay? So is this one. Yeah. Myerding. There's a cobra retractor, resembles a snake. Okay? Again, to retract tissue back in hip surgery. Cobra retractor. Okay? And here is a Z knee retractor. And I'll show you in a minute how to use it. In the, the knee for the ligaments of the knee for total knee replacement. Okay, now here are these two that we have not gone over. This one is also works like this one. You'll stick it on the side of the knee like this to retract the ligaments back, right? And this it's called a that says blunt B L O U N T knee retractor like the Z. That means knee retractor, okay? Blunt. You know, like the blunt you guys smoke? Blunt. <laughs> blunt knee retractor. Blunt, okay? Z knee retractor. Please edit that comment, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, the shoe fits and smoke it. I mean, wear it. That's funny, huh? Funny, yes. funny. All right, here's another uh, new one. <laughs> now, this is mostly uh, for back surgery, not only, okay? And it's like... When they open the back muscles, because the paraspinal muscles underneath the sub-Q there, they retract like this, away from them. So these them. two go together? No, there's no together. Oh. There's all different. Okay. So this one is called a... I shouldn't have put these towels over to bring it on the, on the joint better. Mm -hmm. No, no, don't do it like this. This is called a Taylor, like Taylor Swift. Taylor Spinal Retractor, okay? Spinal Retractor, that's an R. <laughs> nice. Taylor Spinal Retractor, Blunt Knee Retractor, Z Knee Retractor. You can write it down in your notes later on, okay? All right, now here are, this just happened to be two widths of them, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, I don't, don't put this out. We know it's the same kind. Of, they come in different widths. Okay, this is called a Holman retractor. The way you remember it because it has holes. Your hole, like Holman, hole. Holman retractor or bone elevator. Okay, not to be confused with periosteal elevators. Okay, now I'll review them again in a minute. So from the new ones here, blunt knee retractor, Taylor spinal retractor. Okay, this is a Holman. These are your, these are your bone elevators. It's Holman. This is called a Chandler. And this is called a Bennett. The way some students remember Bennett because it looks like a B here, I don't know how you're going to remember it. It's called the Bennett retractor or bone elevator. So these are kind of go together. You'll have two of each in a set. Okay, one more time. Sen Rake, Charnley Hip Retractor, Israel Rake, Hibs Retractor, Myerding Retractor, Cobra Retractor, Z Knee Retractor, Blunt Knee Retractor, Taylor Spinal Retractor. Okay. These are your uh, bone elevators, Homan, Chandler, and your Bennett.
Okay. All right. Here are your elevators. We only have two. There's two other ones that we don't have here. This is a cob elevator. Like cord on the cob. Also has a wooden handle. The longer ones. Okay. And this is a key periosteum elevator. Please scrape periosteum. I'll show you in a minute. The key happens to be a half inch. There's quarter inch and there's a three quarter inch in cob. Okay. Let's go over here. These are your bone holders. This is a vibrugy to hold bones together when they're reducing the bone. This is called the Lomen. It should have been over here. All the bone holders together, guys. So, Lomen to hold the bone plate onto bone when they're putting doing fractures. Here is your lane. Have to be a little one, there's longer ones. Here's your kern with a the ratchet. They're also called lion jaw. Okay, that happens to be a baby lane. This is a baby home, a um, um, loman. They call them babies. Okay, this is your small, remember, the picture should, didn't show you, but it's a bear ranger, a smaller one of the two. We don't have a double action. This is called a lexel. Okay, it's also called a gooseneck or duckbill because it resembles an animal. Okay, now this is called a wire cutter, not a pin cutter. It cuts wire, like when they put braces on, for example, you know, they cut the excess. You can't cut pins, but you can cut wire with it. This car is called a wire cutter or wire scissors. Okay. Now this one here is a bone cutter. And it has sounds like a name of an animal. It's called a it's called a horsely bone cutter. Horsely. That's an E and a Y. This looks like the ones they use to cut the hoops on the horses. Um, mm -hmm. They, trim them, like they cut horses. actually. They can also use. To, they also they also use to cut ribs when they're doing thoracotomy. Okay, but it's a bone cutter it's called a horsely bone cutter. I don't know how you remember horse horsely. So that's a bone cutter, not a pin cutter. All right, here are your, your curettes. This happens to be a ring curette. If you want to get technical, it's an angle ring curette. See that? And they come in many sizes. Okay. Here's your Sprat bone curette. Again, comes in many sizes. This is like a medium one. If the doctor asks you for one, give him the medium one. He may want a bigger or smaller one. And the handle tells you that it's a Sprat bone curette. Okay. And here's an angle Sprat bone curette. There's an angle at the end. And there to cure it bone. And here's your Cobb curette. It's like your Cobb elevator. You see the handle? It's from the same family. But it's a curette. Do you understand that? There are cob curettes, also longer ones, also wooden handle cob curettes for spinal fusion. So, cob curette, don't forget. Here's your bone gouge. See, it gouges bone. See a little trough in there? So they go into the soft cancellous bone to get bone graft, put it in a little medicine cup. It's called a Hibbs bone gouge. Okay. Here are your osteotomes. This happens to be a quarter inch, this is your lumbody. Okay. This is a quarter inch curved. This is a, a half inch curved. And there are one inch, three quarter inch, one inch up to uh, one and three quarter inch. This and they the use body. this along with the mallet. Okay? So if you hand one of these, you hand them out like a chisel. So this is your Lombardi osteotome. And they come in a rack of osteotomes. We have a rack of curettes and osteotomes. This is your inch lamina spreader. Where they go in there and they'll spread something apart joint or something right for the vertebrae okay it's called an inch there's also a baby inch that we don't have and here this is it? and here's your bone mallet the thing is a three pounder it's pretty heavy okay all right stop recording all right let me show you how things are used now because i'm not going to show you i'm not going to show you i'm not